What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are at Lowe's and we're going to check out the routers and the router bits they have and what's good and what's less good. All right, here's the deal guys. We have been looking at our stats and we know around 55-60% of the people that watch our videos are not subscribers. So we're going to do a little verbal agreement here. If you watch more than two of our videos, hit that little subscribe button, hit the bell icon, and uh, help us out here. We're this close to 50,000, so help us reach our goals, guys. All right, guys, so we are in the router section, my favorite section of all of Lowe's, and I wanna go through these. I get questions all the time. What kind of router should I start with? What kind of router should I use? Well, it really kind of depends on what you wanna do. There's, there's a lot of different routers out there. I wanna go to the ones that are here at Lowe's, talk about the corded routers, talk about uh, the battery powered routers, and then maybe get into uh, router bits a little bit. So here we go. All right, first things first, I get this question all the time. I know Ryan does too. Plunge base or fixed base? I am, uh, the plunge base has its, um, has its purposes, but for freehand carving signs, in my book, I don't want a plunge base. It's, it, that's, this is a plunge base, this is a fixed base. All three of these come with a plunge base and a fixed base. So if, if, you, if it's up to me, I would go fixed base only. That works so much better for freehand routing signs. The plunge base is just too big, too bulky. It just does too many things that you just don't need when it comes to freehand routing. All right, full-size routers. Now, I have, well, I have a couple full-size routers. I'm not that familiar with this skill, um, but skill's a pretty good name. It seems like a pretty decent price. If this is a two and a half horsepower, um, I don't know anybody that has this, but I would not discount it if you want a, a less expensive. If you look at, uh, you know, look at the full-size DeWalt, this is the one I have, the 618. It is a phenomenal router. DeWalt is hands down still my favorite router. So this one I absolutely recommend. I've heard really good things. I don't have a full size Bosch either, but the 1617, we sell tons of base plates for the 1617. So a lot of you out there really like the Bosch. Again, uh, of these router, full size routers, I would pick the DeWalt every day, but the difference in price is, is kind of up there. So uh, let's move on to the compact routers. All right, let's talk about the trim routers or compact routers or palm routers. They're all the same thing. So uh, my absolute favorite is the DWP611. That's a DeWalt. The biggest thing that I like about the DeWalt is the, the actual uh, router the depth adjustment. This, this type of system I think works really well. It's my favorite. Uh, it's the same on the big router as well. Now these are the two Bosch Colts. This is the upgraded version of that, the PR20 EV. And I actually own both of these routers. They're both great routers, they really are. This is a one horsepower, Bosch Colt one horsepower. And then the other one is a 125. That's a GKF125. Uh, the only thing that I don't like about the 125 is this mechanism for adjusting the depth. Adjustment mechanism, uh, no, I'm not a fan. Ryan and I both fight with that thing all the time. This one is nice and simple. Um, it's not great. Uh, it certainly is not what the DeWalt has, but it certainly works better in my mind. It's much more simple, uh, but they both are uh, have plenty of power. They both work really well. We sell tons of base plates for both of these and the DeWalt as well. So they're very popular, um, and, and for the price, they're a good little router. Let's move on to the battery power. All right, so now let's talk about the battery-operated routers that Lowe's has. And they only have two that we can find. That's the DeWalt and the Cobalt. Now, I was a little skeptical about the Cobalt in general, especially battery power tools. But we've used the heck out of this thing, and it's been a great router. The depth adjustment is a little bit funky on it. You gotta kind of be careful, especially if you're adjusting while the router is running, which probably isn't the safest idea anyway. But other than that, it's got plenty of power. It's a tad top heavy with a, the bigger batteries, but not a big deal, especially if you have the base plate. Uh, that gives you a much wider base, so the top heavy of the battery doesn't really matter that much. But all in all, for 120 bucks, the Cobalt's a, a pretty screaming deal, and it's a, it's a good quality router. 
So another huge benefit for the Cobalt router is right here you get two 4 amp hour 24 volt batteries and a charger for 149 bucks. So 150 plus 120, that's $270, and you got a pretty good cordless router setup. Now, let's talk about the DeWalt battery. So here you are at the DeWalt. Now, again, this is our favorite router we have, the battery-operated DeWalt. There's really not much difference between the battery and the corded. The, the biggest difference is convenience, right? Um, you don't have to have power to it, especially like if you're carving on site and you can have your batteries being charged separate at a little generator, you don't have to run power to your actual bench for your routers. So this one, it's 220 bucks for the router itself without any batteries. So they're expensive, man, they really are. But in our opinion, they're worth it. The depth adjustment on it is the best that we've found. Um, the power, the reliability, and also one thing I really like about it is it's got the automatic stop when you turn it off, so it's not, it doesn't keep running. One thing you do gotta be careful of is there's really no, there's no warning when it's gonna stop. So if you run it all the way down, you can be in the middle of carving a line and it just instantly stops. It kind of shakes your nerves a little bit, so you really wanna be careful when you're doing that. DeWalt is definitely the highest quality router that we use. However, especially if you're going battery powered, one three amp hour battery is 111 bucks. For 150, you get two four amp battery, four amp hour batteries and a charger for the Cobalt. So it just kind of depends on where your budget's at. They'll both work, but we honestly do like the DeWalt's a little bit better. All right, now let's talk about router bits. So I'm gonna go over a few router bits that they have and talk about why I would or I wouldn't use those. All right, so I've got this little eighth inch veining bit here. It's what I call a veining bit. It's a straight uh, flute, solid carbide. But here's the thing is people will use this in place of our profile bit and it just does not work the same. Number one, it's a straight flute rather than, and it, it's got a flat bottom rather than our profile bit, which has a point at the tip. So even though this could work, it's not gonna work anywhere near like our profile bit does. Spiral bits. So let's talk up cut and down cut. I get this question all the time. Why wouldn't I use a down cut? A down cut pushes the chip down into the groove and you'll probably get a little bit better finish on the surface for that. I don't use a down cut, I use an up cut because I want that, that sawdust or that chip, I want it to pull out of the groove. I'm not that concerned about the surface of the board because I'm gonna sand it anyway. So if you're gonna sand it anyway, then it doesn't really matter the fact that it's got a little uh, fraying or burring at the top. So I, I'm definitely up cut. I'll use an up cut every time. I really don't use the down cut. But these are both spiral bits. They'll work just fine. I, I like the Amana bits a little bit better, but these probably would work fine for you. But in my opinion, I like the up cut better. So now, here's the, the bad part. If you're looking for a router bit for carving signs, they have zero, they've got all of these router bits, but no V-groove bits at all that I can see. They've got no V-groove bits, nothing like our 60, nothing like our 90. Um, they just don't, they don't have them. It, and it, here's the thing, guys, I don't expect them to have them. This is Lowe's, this isn't a woodworking supply place. I wouldn't expect them to have a huge variety of V-groove bits. But I'm telling you what, our Amana bits, those are the best I've ever used by far. So now these all are probably pretty good bits, but they, they're not made for freehand sign carving. Our bits are. So all of our bits will be linked in the description below. All right, guys, there it is. That's our, uh, that's our thoughts on the routers and the router bits from Lowe's. I kind of wish that they had a, a Craftsman uh, battery-powered router, but they, have, they don't have one of those, yeah. at least as far as we can tell. You might be able to find one online, but we haven't looked for that either. Yeah. Um, again, our router bits are ideal for what we do, um, but there's a ton of other stuff they have here, too, That's if you're doing other woodwork. That's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, email me, eric at makeawoodsign.com. Or me, ryan at makeawoodsign.com. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Love you guys. See you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.